Hey, thanks for tuning in again. This is an assembly video of the Ortur Laser Engraver Rot Rotary Roller. That's easy to say. Uh, the YYR unit. And um, I'm going to show you how to put it together, assembly piece by piece. It took me about an hour. Uh, lots of little pieces here and there, but I think with this video, um, there will be less confusion for you to put it together yourself. And um, looks like a pretty solid unit, but uh, it seems like they could have shipped it all in, all together to begin with. But anyway, they don't. So here's my video to help you, hopefully. And uh, if you like it, please subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up. Once you get the uh, Y-axis rotary, rotary roller out of the box, place all your parts out so that you got them organized, and uh, then we begin. First step involves mounting the stepper motor onto the plate. Take your M3 by six screws, four of them, and mount the stepper motor to the plate with your plug on the outside, like this. Next we'll take the bearing with the bolt and the lock nut assembly, place a washer on it, they call it a spacer. Put it in this hole right here. And then put the nut on the back side. Take the other assembly, put the washer on it, and place it in the slot. and then put the other nut on the back. Using your eight millimeter socket and your Phillips screwdriver, tighten it down. should look like this. For the next part, we'll need four of the M5 by 12 screws, the aluminum profile crossbar, and then both ends of the assembly. So you can see the two holes here that are remaining open. We're just going to put the crossbar over the top and then insert a screw in each hole to secure the assembly. One thing to note, it'll help line up the holes if you don't tighten everything up quite yet. Next we'll take the end plate that has the logo on it and we'll do the same thing over these two holes here. Okay, so we're going to set the assembly aside for now and we're going to work on the rollers. You've got four bearings and two rollers and then uh, four of the uh, roller holders and they have this protective paper on there that you can peel off all of them Once you've peeled off all the paper just take a bearing on each one of these holders and pop it in there like that Then 
the rollers are the same size, so it doesn't matter which one, and you just place the larger flat end of the bearing toward the roller, and you use the same holder on each roller, like this. And then we're gonna do the other one with the taller holders. Just like that. In the package you've got two 25 tooth timing belt pulleys and you've got one 16 tooth timing belt pulley. We're gonna use the 25 tooth pulleys right now. So we're gonna put one on each roller on the long end here. And then tighten it down with the Allen wrench. And a little bit of play there. So you can see there's room to spin here, but it's not too loose. So now we've got both of the roller assemblies assembled and they've got free movement behind the gear. Next, we're gonna take the roller with the longer end pieces and mount it onto the frame here. You can see the two holes on each end. We'll take a M5, screw two of them on each end, and then two nuts. Got this one on, and next we're gonna do this side. Okay, so we've got the screws and the nuts on there. We're just gonna tighten them up now. You notice the notches here along the top of each side, and that is for this piece so that you can adjust the width on whatever it is that you're going to engrave. Once so again, we put a screw and a nut through, two of them on each end. Now, a lot of people have commented that it's kind of a pain to loosen these up and spread out the width every time you want to do it. So I'm going to leave these loose. And um, on Thingiverse, for those of you with 3D printers, they have, people have made spacers that you can use that where you don't have to unscrew everything every time you change stuff. So we're just going to leave these loose for now. And I am actually printing a spacer right now. So we'll go with that route. Having said that, if you did want to have the secure in a specific place, you would just mount it wherever you wanted it to be and then um, just secure the screws down. Actually, this part goes on the inside. So you can see why people would want to use a different method because it's kind of a pain to, uh, to move around, but basically you'd have these all tightened down here and here. So that's what it looks like. 
All right, so now we're going to put the 16 tooth pulley or drive pulley on the shaft and lightly tighten it down so that we can adjust it in and out to line up. And then we take our drive belt and we're going to mount it like this. And obviously we'll have to adjust the tension using this bearing right here. So we've loosened this one up and you can see that's how you're going to adjust the tension on the on the drive belt. Um, also, since we've still got this a little bit loose, we need to align that. So I'm going to go ahead and snug this up a little bit. So I've got this snugged up a little bit, not too tight. And then we're just gonna spin the belt, see how our alignment is. It looks like it needs to go in a little bit. Just kind of rotate it. See if it'll center up. That looks pretty good. And we'll just tighten down the Allen screw. There's two more pieces that come with the kit and one is it's called a roller baffle and it would basically mount right here um, I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna mount it right now but it, there's two holes here that that place it right here if you have a larger item then you're probably not gonna want this on there uh, like if it's twice as long as this roller guide you're probably not gonna want that on there but this baffle will keep that item from rolling this way and moving out of proportion to where you're engraving. So we'll set that aside. The other item is the um, guide wheel lifting plate. And we'll put that together up here with the its rollers. But this would go on the other end. And let's say you're doing a wine glass. We'll show you the illustration they've got here where... If you're doing a wine glass with a stem, then you can raise this up. It's slotted, so it can be adjustable. So if you're doing a cone-shaped object or a you know, wine glass, the baffle would keep it from going off the end, and then this would also hold it up to where it's mostly level. So here I've got the rollers, the wheels, assembled onto this uh, guide wheel lifting plate. And... These are pretty nice. They've got just thumb screws here. So you can just thread it in to the plate like this. There's a spacer that they send with it as well. So that goes through there like that. And then just wherever you need to mount this is what you would do. And then it's adjustable up and down. Okay, so this is the completed unit, and we've got it all put together here. Um, I've got all the accessories on, the, the baffle there at the end, and then as well as the um, roller guide here for like wine glasses or cone-shaped objects. So it's all put together. We just have to plug it in and uh, set it up with the, the Laser Master Pro 2. And um, I've also got these items printing on the 3D printer right now. Uh, one's an air nozzle, air assist nozzle, and then a, another adapter so that we don't have to unscrew uh, this roller every time we wanna change this um, distance here. So we've got that printing right now. That'll be a modification. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and a like if you would, and I'll put out more videos that are relevant to laser engraving and 3D printing. Check out my other videos that are also already done. Got a bunch of mods on this Ender. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.